Hello, party people. I am at TJ Maxx right now. I have a few things to return. Um, a bathing suit that I bought before quarantine hit. I don't know if they'll take it back, but we're going to find out. Actually, all of the stuff I have to return, I bought before quarantine. So fingers crossed. I'm also here to look for cutting boards. You guys know my obsession. And I'm here in search of a 4th of July gnome. Guys, I don't want a 4th of July gnome. I need a 4th of July gnome. It's a necessity. So I hope they have some available. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe we'll hit up Home Goods or someone on my Instagram shared with me their Tuesday morning had a lot of cutting boards. So Tuesday morning's just right over there. So we'll probably hit up those stores. Maybe. I don't know where we're going to go. You know before me because, well, you know the future. And I'm living in the present. I'm living in the past. This is weird. Okay, let's go shopping. Since I have returns, I'm coming to the checkout registers first. And look at all of these amazing coolers. They are such a great price. Like this huge one is 10 bucks. What? This one over here is pretty print, 20. Cashier. Also this four. beach spray. Is this like for your hair? Do you guys remember like the beach spray for your hair to make it, <laughs> make it like blonde? Oh, Sunkissed out, indoor outdoor picnic blanket for $17. Oh, fun little outdoor game there. Bunch of beach towels, 13, 15 bucks I see. Okay, right up front I see a bunch of disposable cups, but look at these lemon ones. 12 cups, 12 lids. I'm not sure on the price. Oh, does that say $24.99? No, that's a dollar sign. It says $4.99, which makes a lot more sense, but they have a bunch of uh, disposable plates and napkins as well. The whole store kind of feels really bare. I'm not sure if they're continuing to stock stuff, <laughs> uh, but they do have new stuff out, uh, seasonal stuff. This American flag platter is pretty awesome. See, do you know what I mean? Even the food section, not very stocked. What am I gonna eat on the way home? There aren't any treats. Wow, this feels very weird. Okay, well, I live in Florida and everything has been opened for uh, quite some while, at least a month and a half. TJ Maxx and Marshalls, Home Goods, all that stuff. But, like, look at here. Ooh, fresh new product is coming soon. Um, what? This is crazy even their water bottle section and their lunch containers. This is usually where the cutting boards are, so I'm guessing this one's a big flopperoni. I mean, why are they open at this point, really? <laughs> I did come for organizational stuff as well. This is where it usually is. Oh, they have a little rack over here that I can maybe put some spices on. <laughs> oh, wow. So I guess they need to get stocking on some things and my guess is they they are not going to have the gnome that I'm looking for. <laughs> on the plus side, everything's really organized, so I guess there's that. But even the beauty section looks pretty bare compared to what it normally is. Since that was a bust, I'm heading to Tuesday morning. We'll see if they have anything. <laughs> Still, which I'm okay with but they also <laughs> keep opening those doors look at these little planters eight dollars and then they have one oh geez Louise and then they have one over here kind of looks like a cat so cute lots of gardening stuff right up front you can hear those wind chimes see those vibes lots of pots over here oh some garden statues some of these are so stinking cute that owl right there and then behind me, we have some Americana decor. Oh, this looks so fun. Look at this guy just hanging out right there. Uncle Sam, USA all the way. They have like a little, what are these called, dream catchers? Nah, that's not right. I don't know what they're called, but I like these. They have more over here. They've got some patriotic napkins. 
party like it's 1776. Oh, I love that so stinking much. All right, they've got some more decor over here. And are, is that a pair of socks? Is that what I saw? Oh, that little camper down there. This is Darling as well. Home of the free because of the brave. Look at this, a couple pairs of socks up here. And they're no-show socks. So it's just for you to enjoy. You guys, out of the corner of my stinking eye. I found some cutting boards. Not quite as stocked, ooh, a couple more over here, as, uh, as whoever shared with me on Instagram, but more than the max. I also love the different shapes that they come in. And then look at this one, has like a dragonfly marble feature. Looks like they're just sprinkled around the whole store. I don't see anything that's like catching my eye. I don't know what I'm waiting for, but I want more. Oh, look, a bunch of beach hats right here. I'm kind of in the market for a beach hat as well because mine, I think, has just seen its day, you know? All right, let's take a trip down this aisle. Do you see anything that you like? That skull with the crown? Is that your style? We've got more pigs down here. I think someone told me last year was the year of the pig. That's why they had so many at home goods last time we went. A lot of end tables over here and some of them are crazy expensive. Like this one is $90, but that's like iron on the bottom. So I think it's worth it. And plus it's cool looking and different and original. This pedestal table is only 20 bucks. Huh? Crazy. And I almost forgot they have rugs here. Ooh, even their lamps are reasonably pre- Oh, okay, that one's not $70, no thank you. But like 30 and 30, pretty good price for lamps. Uh, but they have a whole bunch of rugs here. I'm in the market for a new entryway rug. So not quite this large, but even the rug price is 300, 200. Rugs are so dang expensive. I found this randomly. It does not have a box, but my mom collects Jim Shore stuff. I think it's missing a gem right there, but if this is $30. Do you know anything about Jim Shore? Uh, yeah. At Hallmark, this thing would sell for like 70 bucks. So I'm keeping it. I found some clearance over here, and this mirror is beautiful. It's only 20% off. I also don't have like a lot of wall space to put it but it's $50, I mean 20% off of that. And then I found some artwork. Oh, by the way, they didn't have any circle rugs, so I just kept moving things along, you know what I mean? Ooh, clearance, going, going, going. Is everyone having clearance these days? Um, I don't, I'm uninterested. I don't really see anything that sparks my eye, catches my eye, sparks my attention. Ooh, some candles. Ooh, okay, now we're talking. <laughs> this is my new car mug, what? Ooh, some more outdoor stuff. Kind of like that planter. 20% off the yellow stickers. I'm venturing down toward the baby section. I just found out one of my cousins is pregnant. Well, I've known for a little bit, <laughs> but uh, now's as good as time as any to look for some baby stuff. Oh, look at these animal friends. Is that books? A baby bundle? Oh, wooden uh, toys for kids. Those are the best. Ooh, even these handy tools right here. Only five bucks. What? My first workbench up there for 20 bucks. It says the compare price is 50 and boy do I believe that. They even have Melissa and Doug toys here. A pet care play set? What? It's only $35 here. It says to compare it at 60 and I believe that as well because Melissa and Doug toys are quite pricey. Oh, they even have these building blocks, the Legos up here. $10. Why don't I come here for birthday toys, Christmas? Hold on a tick. They have a Moby rack for $25 right there. They have some knit caps, bookends. Oh, this is so pretty. Thank heaven for little girls. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have this uh, frame where it's the foot, the picture, and the handprint. I still haven't made Meredith's yet. She's six months old. She's seven months old. Oh my gosh. Somebody help me. Oh man, that's funny. They also have an entire aisle of bigger kids' toys. Oh, they have dress up over here. Dress up. Looks like they have a ladybug tent. This is so cool. 
So they have dolls as well. And then on the other side, they have the, you know, quote, boy toys, Star Wars stuff. Ooh, sharper image stuff up in here. What? Beat bugs. Hey, did anyone remember that show? Ooh, look, they even have basketballs. Oh, cool. Wiffle balls, lightsabers, a soccer ball down there. Ooh, how much is this? 10 bucks. I might buy that for little Wentworth. I was on the phone with Alex and uh, discussing the soccer ball situation and um, we were laughing at all of these board games. Okay, first of all, great prices on these board games. Twist and Turn, aka Twister, <laughs> and then the Pop and Hop over here. These are five bucks though, like crazy prices. And your kids don't care the name of the game. That's Trouble over there. And then Crazy Toaster I thought was just amazing. What is that even? Big box. Ooh, four games, a hundred pieces. I do not need to lose a hundred pieces around my house. So, ooh, who's there? Three dollars. Do you see what I'm talking about? Three dollars. A wooden box of four puzzles. Melissa and Doug again for seven dollars. This JoJo puzzle. Barbie puzzle is two bucks. Again, guys, if you're looking for gifts or something this is a great place to come colors and shapes first words and see like 10 bucks for each of those okay then they have are those marbles oh man four five dollars for those marbles 160 marbles in there you guys pass the peas never heard of that game over here build a story catch the fox all this good stuff jojo's juice Oh, good lord. Marty Pants up here. I might get this game, third grade and up, 120 brain building cards with questions. Ooh. Okay, over here to the kitchen stuff. Guys, they have a kitchen mixer for $50. They have uh, pressure cookers and dehydrators. How much is this dehydrated? 40 bucks. Oh, you guys, at Bed Bath & Beyond, that thing would be like 80. Maybe not, I don't know. The one I buy is 80 bucks. Ooh, look at these over here. Stir it up. Oh, that's a pretty bowl. Pretty little pie dishes right there. Oh, and it comes in gray. <gasps> these are pretty. Oh, I'm glad I came down this aisle. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything, but these are so stinking cute. Am I right? All right, what else do we see? Some fruit baskets up here. We've been battling fruit flies and oh goodness gracious, somebody help me with that. You know what I mean? Ooh, a little cow over here. What would you put in there? Literally anything you wanted. Oh, some storage containers. I'm just browsing through, but this little figurine is giving me all of the feels right now. Oh, look at those shelves. Those are unique. I'll peek on the price for you, but um, I just wanted to show you this artwork. They have a lot of artwork here. Wow. You see, I don't come to this store enough. I don't get out much, really. I don't think any of us do these days, huh? All right, peeking on some more. I couldn't find the price on that thing. It's probably, let's just say it's $50, the shelf. Uh, oh my gosh, what is that animal? It's a combination of multiple animals. It's like the elephant on, oh, Inside Out, is that it? Oh, that guy's so funny. What's his name? can't remember we were inside out characters a couple years ago Wentworth was that guy I don't remember his name that's how good my memory is Ooh, a little collage photo over here oh my gosh look at this mirror as well Wow I picked up this collage frame I think it'll be perfect for our collage wall it's only $15 it says compared at $32 okay they have a bunch of beach stuff over here and I found these bags that are just darling and they have a cute little pocket up front that you can throw your phone into and it's see-through so I think that is just perfect. Oh, they even have more over here. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, there's more up here. They're all over the place. Oh, a memory foam lounge cover. Wow, we're getting fancy. 20 bucks. More beach towels right there. I am a sucker for a good beach towel. Some pool toys. Oh, we need some pool weights. Tell me if you see any. Ooh, a snorkel. It's only $12. Mmm. They only have two. I need three. Oh, they have more up here. Oh, okay. 
Gotta call Alex again. They got more toys over there. Oh boy. Oh, and look, more hats right here. Oh, and these are fantastic. Five dollars. Um, supposed to mist you and keep you nice and cool on those hot summer days. A pleasant surprise. I was not looking for these, but they have been on my mind for a while. I'm gonna get a snorkel set for each of the kiddos, and it's perfect. They have a child size for Wentworth and then two larger ones for the older kids. And they even have adult ones over here for, well, the adults, AKA Alex. I'm gonna grab one for him too. We're now at Home Goods. I drove over here. I couldn't go home without seeing what they have to offer, but I bet you more than anything, Marshall's is the farthest away from me. Isn't, aren't those the three stores, Marshall's, Home Goods, TJ Maxx? Uh, they normally have the most, but I usually don't feel like driving over there. So let's see what Home Goods has to offer. Again, vlogging outside my car. So strange. I came here first home goods just it's a different sense in here you know what I mean not only does it smell better everything's better these flamingo plates they're 3d like are you kidding me amazing over here all this lemon stuff like what is this I don't know oh my gosh is it like a little plate cover so bugs don't get in am I reading too much into it I don't really know what that is also kind of feel like I need it in my life also low-key it kind of smells like Alex's grandparents house in here I, I like it. It smells good. Oh, look, there's another one down here. Daisies. Oh, I love that. Daisies. Daisies. And watermelons. I was trying to sing Katy Perry's Daisy song. Did you catch that? No? Couldn't make the correlation. Didn't sound enough like her. <laughs> trying to be respectful over here and not be too loud. Um, also, all these little beach bags, if you will. Oh, they look fun. Coolers. Some more summertime. Ooh, look at this platter right here. Wood, ooh, I really like this one. Wood on the inside, and it's like, well, I mean, it's not actual wood. It looks like wood. How much? Guess that price. $10. $10? This bowl is enormous. Oh, you guys, I might need a cart. Oh, look what's behind it, too. A cooler seat. A cooler and a seat. A twofer. How much is that? Again, we don't know. All right, over here, some nice blue patterned things. I see some stars. Makes me think of 4th of July. <gasps> and then over here, yellow is the color. Oh, look how funny this is. You can measure your, oh crud, what drink is that? M something, M mimosa? Is that right? Man, I don't even drink. I don't know where I pulled that from. Probably some old Sex in the City episodes. Okay, yellow over here. Look at those. Those are so, I've, I've never seen those before. I will say the mosquitoes this year are out of control. So that makes perfect sense. They have a few tiered trays over here. Oh, the lighting, there we go, that's better. These are really pretty. And then down there, I think that's only $24 if I saw the price tag correctly. All right, venturing over here, we've got some big old fish. Oh, those pots are so cute, the polka dot. And then over here, the elephants and frogs. <gasps> More coolers. Look at those ducks up there, those are so cute. Ooh, I feel like I could use, is this a plant stand? Have I finally found it? Okay, this one's $40 and $50. Ooh, a hose attachment. Oh, look at this guy, he's cute. Ooh, I have one of these, that's only 13 bucks. Lawn dart set, they have a couple lawn games. And even more coolers right here. I don't know if I can contain myself. I don't need a cooler, I don't need a cooler. Please keep walking. Ooh, a donut hole set, I mean a cornhole. <laughs> it has a donut on it. Oh man, I want a donut. Oh my stars, you guys, look at these lawn, I don't even know what to call them, lawn accessories. Look at that flamingo riding a bicycle. What? Flamingo birdhouse, I really like this. All that stuff is super fun. 
It's very large too. So far I do not see any 4th of July themed. We did see that plate in the beginning though, so I shouldn't say I haven't seen anything. Ooh, look at this. I like that. Trying to follow the floor directions here. Look at this uh, farmhouse style stuff. Is that what this is? I don't know. Ooh, some more treats. Ooh, what are these? Sunflower seeds and rainbow. Oh my goodness, they still have Easter stuff. <laughs> Just hanging on. This is the least stocked I have ever seen the Ray Dunn stuff. Oh, gold digger. I think we saw that one last time. That one's really funny. A gold digger. Uh, all right, they have grandma and grandma. And let's move along. That fish is pretty awesome. Spotted this beehive up here. It's like a cookie jar or something, but look at these little bowls. They would be perfect for ice cream. These bowls over here are really nice too, $10. I can't find a price for uh, the smaller set. Ooh, even these back here, it's like a medium size, right in between the two. These would be great for ice cream. I don't know why I'm thinking about, I don't even like ice cream, I don't eat it. I'm trying to think of how can I give my kids a smaller portion without them noticing. <laughs> I feel like it would also be great for my charcuterie boards as well. Oh, they even have this set too. Cute. Okay, I think I'm obsessed with all this kitchen stuff. And I think these bowls, they're like for real medium because these are tiny, smaller than the ones we saw. How much are these? A guess that, oh, it says right there, $8 for a set of four. And then, oh, these are so pretty. These right there, I wish they had, oh, I love the ones with the bird in the middle. I wish they had a set of four of those. Uh, and then this platter down here, uh, I think I need a cart, you guys. That lemon plate, why am I obsessed with like plates and bowls all of a sudden right now? I, everyone I see, I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I need it. Oh, look at these cupcake jars. Oh, I really like that spoon holder. All right, what else have we got? Oh my gosh, conch shell. Guess that price. It's $13, it could be yours, it could be mine, or that chicken. Wait a minute, is that a hot plate back there? I do need some more of those, that one's really pretty. $7 for two hot plates, and guess what I found right next to it? A little mini conch, adorable. And then down here, they have um, a couple bowls just randomly hanging out. Oh look, we can peek a price, $6 for those three bowls. All right, ooh, Minnie Mouse. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, they have a lot of Disney stuff. <gasps> Toy Story, oh, this is so fun. I've never seen these before. Goofy on that one, I like it. All right, what else do we have over here? What is that? It looks like something from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <laughs> also kind of looks like, you know, a big roundabout. All right, so I don't actually know the, the name of that, but we'll get over it. Okay, again with the pretty bare shelving. Ooh, what's this? A griddle. Precision griddle. Man, that looks high quality. Lord almighty, it better be for the price. Does it make the waffles for you? Because then I'm down. I'll spend the money if it makes my waffles for me in the morning. I don't even think it makes waffles. French toast, I'll settle. Ooh, cutting boards. One way. But I just, I just went that way. Oh wait, no I didn't, I went the wrong way. Cause people were blocking the end. What am I supposed to do, you know what I mean? I think I'll be forgiven as long as I spend enough money in the store. <laughs> Is that how it goes? Look though, they've completely restocked their cutting boards from the last time we came. This is beautiful. This is the kind of thing I'm looking for, something unique. Guess that prize. It doesn't have a price, of course. Nowhere on it is there a price. Well, then let's move along. They have this marble one that looks really nice. Ooh, this one with the little handle. It's only $13, but it is on the smaller side. Like I need something a little <gasps> bigger. Is this a cutting board or just like a, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I'm speechless, hold on. Guess that price. Um, okay, it's $30, but you know what I noticed? Forgive me, but it's a Lazy Susan. Oh my goodness. This might be, oh man, it has a, a mark right here. Oh, if it didn't have that, I would really think about 
taking it home. I mean, I'm still thinking about it. I don't, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'd be the talk of the town. I'd be every mom's envy. <laughs> All the other moms in the neighborhood would be talking about how I have the best Lazy Susan. Well, no, they won't. They literally would not even care. There's the organizational aisle. And last time I came here, I regretted not getting some of the things that I found. And now look at it. All the good stuff is gone. But they still do have a spice shelf right here, which I kind of need, but ugh, I don't know. I just don't like them. Oh, look, a little butter dish. They still have that, apple pie maker. No one wants to make a teeny tiny apple pie. They want the whole kit and caboodle, you know? I feel like there's a fly on my leg, but I'm holding too many things to swat it. Ooh, look at these water bottles still. Large ones. This one's different. I like it. Eat, drink, and be happy. Amen, dude. Here's another aisle of little uh, Tupperware pieces. We all know these OXO containers are outrageously priced. This one apparently has stainless steel on it. It's $17. What? Come on. They do have a lot of these uh, Sistema Tupperware sets. And oh, wait, hold on. Shape and go for five bucks. That's something new. Anyway, these are some of my favorite. And they always have great prices at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods and that thing. Ooh, this one looks nice too. A larger one. Hmm. All right. I think the time has come to get a cart. My fingers are barely hanging on. <laughs> Came back up here to get a cart. And I noticed this. Oh, it's like a Russian doll bowl set. That is gorgeous. I just couldn't not show you that, you know? I'm thinking of getting one of these for our bedroom. This one's pretty tall and it's only $70. I say only because I have one this size at my house and it was $70. I just think, mm, okay, so how much is this one? Oh, see, this one's $60. I would spend like $49.99, but not $59.99, you know. Ooh, this macrame, very pretty. Ooh, I like the vibe of that. Oh, hold up, wait a minute. Look at all of those, like that blue and white print. Oh, I can't wait to get over there. Do you see everything that I miss when I just blaze by? Is that a heart? Is that supposed to be a heart? It's uh, $10, it's small. See my hand right there? Uh, so I don't know. I like it because it's unique and different, but also how often am I going to pull it out to use it? I also see a lot of wool ball sets. So this is fantastic and you can use them. They're supposed to help with energy efficiency, dry your clothes faster. Also supposed to reduce status cling, all this kind of stuff, right? So this set of four balls is I think 10 bucks. Yeah, $10. This one I peaked 20. Why? Why you do that, Nelly? And then the three-piece set, I don't know, I didn't even look. $7 for three of them. And these, the Wool Light ones and Laura Ashley come with essential oils. If you are into that, I've never seen their basket supply so low. Ooh, this is a gorgeous basket. Ooh, $60. See, $60 for a basket, expensive. $60 for a plant the size of me, not Expense, you know what I mean? It just depends. Ooh, look at these baskets too. Ooh, eight dollars eight dollars for a set of three? They're not that large. Here's my hand, but ooh. So I guess in a couple weeks we'll see all fresh new products in the bathroom section now. And they have ooh, is that a toilet paper holder? They have a lot of stuff over here. I was looking for hand soap. They usually have a bunch of it, but I don't see it this time around. But I do see a lot of soap holders. Ooh, wait, hold up. I see a lot of rugs as well. I'm looking for a bigger rug for my bathroom. Also looking for a little collage photo frame too. And ooh, $5.99 really starting at. Um, I really like this one. It's rustic. I wonder how much it is. It's $20, there's only one left. Ah, uh, all right, I'm gonna do it. How long do you think it'll take me to put my photos in it? <laughs> oh, they have so many more too. I should, maybe I should not have jumped the gun. I, ooh, I like this one right here because it's not all vertical photos, even though 
These days, I feel like that's the majority of the types of photos that we take are just all vertical. Oh, okay, so this one's cheaper, $17. Still on my quest for a bath rug, but I don't really see anything that I'm like, oh yeah, I like it. Ooh, maybe that one with the dog. All right, over here, oh my gosh, look at those darling fans. $25 for those, and then these lamps. Oh goodness, those are so pretty. Oh, this one's making me laugh, this Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> but it's good marketing. I know exactly what it was when I saw it, you know what I mean? a hundred dollars on clearance for this where's waldo at the beach i actually like this one. Oh, look at that person holding their baby i like it i like this one a lot actually it's some kind of form of torture to sc stroll down the candle aisle but not be able to sniff all of the candles <laughs> i'm trying not to touch anything uh, i'm just trying to get real close to them with my nose angel wing what does an angel wing smell like i don't know some kids toys over here summer floats which is what i'm looking for uh and this one meredith we actually left it at the beach last time we went i'm so upset this one's 25 dollars, but it's speedo so i feel like it's quality um, oh, and then they have this inflatable sprinkler right there. That's cute, too. Ooh, it's only 10 bucks. Look at all of these beach chairs, too, for the little tots. I always think it's funny when kids lounge at the beach. Like, they've worked so hard for their little getaway to the beach. You know, this one is so cute with dinosaurs on it. How much are these? This one over here even has a little umbrella. Oh, so does this one. I wish I could see the price on any of these. Okay, there it is, $15. And you guys, they're Tommy Bahama. They're so cute. Oh, this little rainbow one. Kids games always make me laugh. Look at this one, Gassy Gus. <laughs> He's so gassy. Why'd you feed him all that chili dog? Man, that is funny. Oh, Curious George down there. They've got a military soldier's kit. Also, Order Up Diner. Ooh, this butterfly paint set. They have so many things for little kiddos. Oh, yeah, look at this VTEX. Oh, ooh, a ring stacker. I think we have a Melissa and Doug one. My pet, oh, my pal Truman. <laughs> my, the good old pal Truman. I picked these up from Meredith. They're just texture balls. I think she'll really enjoy those. I'll share a haul with you guys of everything I got from like Ikea and Tuesday morning and everywhere else I'm going today and have been. Ooh, a marble run. Here's another inflatable sprinkler. It's only $10 and I feel like the kids would really enjoy that on a nice hot summer day. Oh my word, Tyrannosaurus. That artwork is only $20. They have more, oh look at that cup set, Winnie the Pooh. They have space down there. And this um, stool, I got a rainbow one a few, um, well, many, many months ago now. But it's only $17 and it's nice and sturdy and wood and we use the snaws out of that. I'm almost tempted to get the monster truck one as well for, ooh, look at that hamper for Wentworth's room. Oh, look at the artwork in the back there. I need more artwork for um, our, little room in the back oh i like that a lot they have baby stuff right here some towels and blankets oh yes eleanor is screaming about this unicorn and rainbow stuff they even have a little stool down there it says little princesses i just think those are darling I found a gem, a cutting board that says Home Sweet Home Florida USA. I just wish it was like in the shape of Florida. You know what I mean? Wouldn't that be cooler? Ooh, I see a lot of wood over here. I'm very drawn to the wood. So I guess let's take a peek down here. What do we see? Serve, oh, serve one another in love. Some more artwork for the kids' room. I like this one so much, the ABC. It's only $30 for this really large um, artwork. It has all the letters like S for sloth. Oh, that's so cute. Hold up. Wait a minute. W for wolf. Is this a sign, guys? Am I not done having kids? Do I need to wait until my wolf gang completes our family? I think that's a sign. I think that's also a sign I should get it. Oh my, no. Look at this lady too, the giraffe. She's awesome. This rainbow canvas is $30 as well. Oh look, the stools. They have a unicorn. This is the one I have at home. Love it. 
Uh, very tempted to buy the unicorn one as well, but I'm trying to go for more gender neutral here. Oh, somewhere over the rainbow. It's been a while since we sung a song together. Really? I love that. $24, $25 for that one. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh, let me peek on the price here. $90. That's all that thing's gonna set you back. Worth it. Okay, so no 4th of July stuff, but they do have a lot of beach stuff. Oh, look, it says, happiness is sand between your toes. I believe that to be true. And salt water up your nose. That's how they should complete that sentence. <laughs> that is the beach in a nutshell. Look how nice this stool is too, a footstool. I love the tribal fabric on that. This is right up front, floating party cups. Didn't even know this was a thing. And then two beverage floats right there. That's pretty so sweet. A drink holder for the pool. Guys, these are essential items. Oh, you guys, right at the checkout, where you're being rushed to go through everything, you can slay your own dragons. Isn't that the truth? Ooh, and then right up here, this little, um, what are these called, buntings? Bunting, I'm not sure of the proper name. This is really sweet too, it's Ray Dunn. It's $6, I'm thinking about getting it. I could use it for like makeup brushes, so I don't have that many. Also, just like a cup, you know? They also have these plates down here, they're plastic. The gym is my happy place, but since I haven't been able to go there, I guess I'll settle for home goods. <laughs> So that is everything that we shopped around for today. Did you enjoy your time? Did you enjoy this little virtual field trip to, where'd we go? Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Tuesday morning? Have you guys ever been to Tuesday morning? It's such like a lesser known store, but it had some really great gems in there. So I will share with you a haul uh, that I got from all of those places. Wait, I didn't buy anything from TJ Maxx. I'm so proud of myself. I did return a bunch of stuff and they did take it. I don't know if I shared that with you. They did take it back. So I guess there's that. I'm hungry. It's time to eat. Time to go home. Meredith is missing me. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed shopping with me. If you did, subscribe. Put a little happy in your day. And I will see you next time, friends. Uh, goodbye.